Okay, so we're here in an Autodesk Inventor 2018, and we're going to take a look at creating just basic gears. Okay, so so uh, in this case, uh, all we're going to do is create a, just a basic set of gears, um, and we're going to go ahead and um, cut a space in them for an axle. Uh, so first thing we're going to do, we're in an assembly, so we went new assembly. First of all, we're going to create a new part. Um, I'm not going to be too particular about where the part is. I click, create new part, click, then create a new sketch. Click. So now notice here over on the left, we're in an assembly, we're in the part, we're in a sketch in the part, right? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and create um, a, uh, a circle here. Okay. And this dimension we're going to do is... Um, Let's say we want a gear that is going to be um, 36 millimeters. And finish sketch. And then we're going to go ahead and extrude it. Okay, let's say we're going to extrude it. Okay, that the the size of the gear really didn't matter there. Um, uh, so. I put 36 millimeters because that was the size of the gear I was just making. So, okay, so we're going to go ahead and click return. Okay, so now we're in this assembly. We have one part made. We're going to go ahead and make another, another part. So we're back in the assembly. We click create. We're going to click on, we're going to just give it a name. In this case, I'm not going to save it. So we're going to go ahead and click on the front of this, uh, the, the um, kind of cylinder we already made. And then we're going to go ahead and make a parallel uh, drawing here. This time we're going to go ahead and we want to make a two to one gear, right? So, so we want to, uh, you know, we're going to be, if we're providing power onto the small gear, it's driving the big gear, we're going to be reducing our speed in half and increasing our uh, torque, you know, doubling our torque, right? Um, so uh, we got our circle here, so we're just going to go ahead and double that that amounts we got we had 36 millimeters now we're making the larger circle 72 millimeters and click finish sketch and we're going to go ahead and extrude just like we did before okay all right so there we have it um and we're going to go ahead um and click return okay now in this case, we're just going to go ahead and have them kind of sitting next to each other like this. That's fine. We might bring them a little bit out. Um, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and actually make the gears. And to do that, we're going to go ahead over to... Um, we're going to go ahead over to the Design tab. And on the design tab, we're going to click spur gear. Okay, and ask ask me to save. And we're going to go ahead and click OK. Okay, so here is our. Uh, this is the you know, the design. They used to call it a design accelerator, right? So, spur gears component uh, generator here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to keep center distance selected here. And we're going to go ahead and select the cylindrical face. And notice that when I kind of click, go to the side of the small gear there, that I can select that. And then we can select the start plane here. And it gives me this kind of um, this preview, right? Now, yours might not start with this. So notice that the face width here, I can change that. Notice that the, the preview, the green preview there gets larger. I'm going to leave it at a quarter inch. Then we're going to go ahead and select, select the cylindrical face for the second gear, right? Um, then the start plane, same thing there. So notice that they're kind of, uh, you know, meshing together there. Okay, so at this point, basically, um, it's already set up to be two uh, gear ratio, right? Um, and the uh, the pitch is set to be 24 UL per inch. 
Okay, so at this point, that's pretty much it, right? That's your, that's your basic uh, gear. So we're gonna go ahead and click OK. Just keep it not too complicated here. Just gonna go OK, accept, whole thing. All right, so there is our gear made. All right. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead in and we're going to add, um, so essentially, you know, if you're using this, depending on what type of motor you have, uh, you know, what it is, uh, you might, you know, you're gonna need to add something, some kind of hole inside here or something. So we're gonna assume that we're gonna be cutting this on a laser cutter or 3D printing it. Uh, so basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up the spur gears Okay, I'm gonna double click on one of the IPTs. So notice we have two IPTs here, right? Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete out the, um, the parts that I made earlier. Okay, so notice over here, I'm kind of deleting out those patterns that I made earlier, because I just wanna leave the gears. All right, and, uh, and then I'm gonna go in, so I'm gonna double click the spur gear to go in. I'm gonna start a sketch, right, right on there. And essentially what I'm gonna do is that I'm just gonna go ahead, I, I'm just gonna make a simple square, uh, you know, point to, to add an axle here. So essentially I've got a dimension, I'm gonna make the dimension 0.125 and check. And then we're gonna set everything equal around. So, okay, over constraints are not good, so. Okay, uh, so then we're gonna go ahead up right here. Okay, and, uh, and we're gonna go ahead and can keep dimensioning here. So we want, boop. Doing the wrong thing on the dimension. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. I am having a hard time dimensioning this for some reason here. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off this other dimension. Okay, so we got that, all right. That's so interesting. I don't know why I'm getting not getting a dimension here. Um, okay. Another way we could do this. I suppose it's good that I'm having the problem here and not you. The other way we could do this is just put a line on there and then dimension the line itself. Okay, and then basically what I'd do is I'd go, okay, I want this, you know, this point um, to be half of that, right? And I forgot to, and I want to subtract. Let's get that right in the middle. Then I'm basically do the same thing on the other side. So go ahead and when you're making this line, it might be best to actually go from point to point if you have to make the line like I am here. So a green dot over to the green dot on the other side, make sure you get a nice straight line. And then do the same dimension. Now in theory, it's gonna be, oops, in theory it's gonna be identical, right? I'm just gonna accept it if it says a driven dimension. And then basically we're just gonna do the same exact thing. So we're gonna do dimension over from the side of our hole over to the side of the um, of the uh, gear and we're going to say hey we want to um, you know our width divided by two minus and then we're going to do our other dimension divided by two and enter and then we're going to go ahead and finish sketch and of course we're just going to extrude cut this there we 
go. Okay, and there's our extrude cut. All right, so uh, there we have it. So basically, we're you know we're in our IPT. Uh, we would go ahead and save off this IPT. Um, we go ahead and save off this IPT, and and then basically, well, we do the same thing on the other one, um, on the other gear. Uh, we'd save off each IPT, and then we'd go ahead and uh, 3D print that or cut it. Uh, and this would fit on a standard VEX, uh, uh, VEX uh, shaft. Um, if you wanted to do another one, of course, you just use uh, just measure the, um, or if you want to do you know if you want to do a different shape hole in the middle. Uh, for your application, you just measure the, uh, the shaft that you're putting it on or the key uh, that you're using, the shaft and key that you're using on your motor. Um, and that's it. Okay, uh, best of luck making a simple set of gears.